Hello, hey up and how you diddling? My name is Steve and once again, it's a great big warm welcome from myself to Let's Explore. I hope you're all well. Well, as you can see, I brought you to one of the prettiest fishing villages that I've quite possibly ever been to in my life, to be honest with you. This is Robin Hood's Bay and there's a reason that we're here today because if you look just over there, you can see something quite beautiful, <laughs> beautiful he says. Well, that is indeed a culvert. But ladies and gentlemen, this ain't any old culvert, you know. This place, 250 to 300 years ago, was awash with smugglers. There was, <laughs> honestly, it's an extraordinary story. Now, 250, 300 years ago, they put the import tax up quite high, which meant there was a trade there for people that wanted to be up to no good, basically, and actually bring you know, alcohol, tobacco, tea, and all sorts from the North Sea. And they'd park the ship, well park, you don't park a ship, do you? <laughs> they'd anchor the large ships offshore here and come ashore on rowing boats uh, in the middle of the night. And a lot of the time, what they'd do to get away from the law and those that were, were waiting for them and watching them, apparently they'd sneak stuff up that culvert there. And we're gonna go in there today and show you around this little village. Right, let's go and have a nose there. Alrighty then, so in this week's video we are indeed visiting the beautiful North York Moors National Park and to be more specific we're visiting one of the prettiest fishing villages on its spectacular eastern coast you're ever likely to come across known as Robin Hood's Bay. Now where the arrow's pointing that's the new part of Robin Hood's Bay, it's kind of a village in two halves this is. And where the arrow's pointing now that is the old part of Robin Hood's Bay and let me tell you it's absolutely spectacular, this place. So old worldly, it really is gorgeous. So when you take a walk around Robin Hood's Bay in 2024, you very quickly become immersed in the place. It's such a stunning little village this is, but it's got a checkered history in terms of smuggling in the 18th century. Now I found a website earlier whilst doing a bit of research on the village. And there's a website called citizen.org.uk and somebody called Hannah Thompson, hello Hannah if you're watching, <laughs> has done a little write-up about Robin Hood's Bay. And she says here, smuggling or so-called free trade of luxury goods was a huge problem in 18th century society. In essence, smuggling was a way of obtaining luxury goods without paying heavy import taxes which were imposed by the government after needing to reclaim vast amounts of money spent on wars with Europe. In a similar way to the black market of Second World War Britain, the illegal trading networks set up by smugglers were a way of getting your hands on goods which were otherwise unavailable to the everyday villager. Now, Robin Hood's Bay, what is fantastic about it from a smuggler's point of view, if you could anchor your, your ship offshore and row a few boats onto the, onto the sandy beaches in the middle of the night, Robin Hood's Bay, as you can see, is, it's like a rat run, it's like a labyrinth of small alleyways and roads right outside of these gorgeous old terraced houses. So there was an awful lot of activity going on in 18th century Robin Hood's Bay. It must have been a spectacle. And I'm not certain, I mean, I don't know because I was never there, but maybe a little bit of this story with Robin Hood's Bay over the years has become romanticised a little because you know what these people are like, they're like blood sucking vipers, if they want the tax and their monies they'll make sure there's enough geezers on every corner of that village to make sure that people are paying the dues and are going to be punished for it, do you know what I'm saying? So maybe it's been a bit romanticised but I can see a lot of truth in it as well you know. But one of these rat runs, as we've already mentioned and spoken about, is this glorious old culvert where quite a lot of action used to take place apparently. Now whilst I was in the culvert, I come across another culvert which joins directly into the one we're exploring today. Now you can only get so far in this culvert, you could crawl all the way up, but you'd get muddy and wet. But the part we can get in, you'll notice there's some uh, wooden beams and there's also what looked like wooden floorboards above my head. Now I wish I'd have known this when I was down there actually filming this. It wasn't until I got back and did some more research into this culvert and this smuggling story but apparently where the floorboards are is where they actually used to pass goods up and down that they were trying to smuggle to get them up to street level. 
That is absolutely amazing. I wish I'd have known that at the time. Anyway, let's actually go and have a nose at this culvert. Come on, you'll like this. Right then, the bit you've all been waiting for and me for the last four or five years. So this then is known as the Smuggler's Cave. In reality, it's a culvert that takes the, the King's Beck through here and out into the, the North Sea. But we'll go in here. I, I'm looking forward to this one, let me tell you. Let's go and have a nose there. Do you know what? This may well be the oldest culvert I've ever been in. It's extraordinary. And what a great place for it as well. <laughs> Look at that, amazing. Right, let's do it. I tell you what, I've been in a lot of culverts in my time, let me tell you, but this one has got the best view I've ever seen. But just down there, look, the end of my fingertip there, that is a manhole cover, which I thought was a bit odd. Then I came in here, and you got this concrete ledge, look. And then beneath it, a clay pipe leading to a bit of a manhole and pipe work going up to street level. But we're not come here to look at that, Stephen, have we? Get up there, Stephen. Right, so this brook is actually flowing quite well today, known as the King's Beck, of course. And I find it extraordinary that 250, 300 years ago, people were coming through here, smuggling goods into this, into this village and selling it on the black market. I find that absolutely incredible, to be honest with you. Now then, recording's one thing, but recording and walking through here when the surface isn't level at all is another thing altogether. But I tell you what, look at this stonework, ladies and gentlemen. This is absolutely amazing. I don't think I've ever seen stonework this big in a culvert before. It's extraordinary. It is so, so old. This, I mean, I don't, I, do you know what? I was looking up the history on this place uh, and I couldn't actually find an awful lot, to be honest with you, uh, apart from the smuggling stories and what have you. But the culvert itself, it's got to be hundreds of years old. For me, this predates the 18th century. It's got to, just look at it. Some of the buildings above it are extremely old, you know? So, ah, oh, that's interesting. We've got a bit of a, a, bit of a side, side at it there. Now then, they put that, they've actually uh, done some shoring up work in here in the past. Concrete, look, can you see that? So, just go watch where I'm walking, like I say. I've got my wellies on for a change, but there could be deep pockets here that I don't know about. This is amazing. I think this is one of the, one of the best I've ever been in. I'm not quite sure how long it is. It goes on quite a bit of a ways yet. Now, hey, look at, hey, this is a good one. Look at that. Wow. I tell you what, hold on, let's see where we're walking. So you've got another brook that comes into here, another beck. So quite clearly then at this point, hold it, hold it, right then. So can you remember earlier I said to you about wooden flooring above my head? Well, that's it, that's it right there. So that is indeed where we think they used to be passing goods up or down or vice versa. <laughs> That's amazing, isn't it? That really is incredible. And as I said earlier, I wish I'd have known that at the time. Right, let's proceed. We've got wood up there. So is that someone's house above us? Uh, maybe not, it might be an outhouse. I'd have thought they'd have had something a bit more sturdy than that. Either that or someone's watching Good Morning Britain at the minute and they can hear my voice below them in the living room. Who knows? <laughs> oh, look at this man. Jesus, jeez Louise. I mean, we're not going up there because that is proper low, but that is amazing. This is so, so old, folks. It's absolutely unbelievable. I'm in nosy heaven right now. What's going on? Look at this. What's that? Looks like a rat trap, doesn't it? Probably is, who knows? Right, let's go back out here. Look at this. This is unbelievable. So old, so, so old.
I'll tell you what, I've got no end of spider webs going across my face right now. <laughs> I'm quite fortunate really when it comes to visiting these places that spiders don't bother me. I'll tell you what, it's fantastic to imagine, isn't it, that a couple of hundred years ago or over, there were people swashbuckling up and down this culvert here with goods to sell on the black market. It's a fantastic story, isn't it? You know, and now we're swashbuckling and gallivanting up and down here. But I mean, you know, I mean, look at this stonework here. It is so, so old. Do you know what? I wouldn't be surprised one bit if this stonework was 16th century, going back that far. I wouldn't be surprised if it was even older than that. Now, when you look up Robin Hood's Bay, or we're near the end now, when you look up Robin Hood's Bay, uh, you know, and the story of this culvert, what you really ever get is the smuggling stories. It doesn't really, I've not found anything yet, that might change when I'm editing the video, but it doesn't really tell you about any dates of when this was built. Look at that. So there's the village above us. Amazing. What an extraordinary place this is. Summer tell us, isn't it, eh? Amazing. Absolute joy that is. An absolute joy. Really easy to get into as well. Sometimes there can be a pain in the backside. But I just wanna I just wanna follow this this beck, this king's beck up here a little bit, just to see where it goes. This beck even comes with its own ladder look. Fantastic, but it's like with this, this property here, you know, how deep must these foundations go down? These are so old, so old. Makes you wonder how they built it all, don't it? Unless this, this beck's been rerouted, you know, when they built it all, because it's, it's like up there. Look at that wall there, with structures on top of it. It's almost like an old world place this is and they've built on top of it. It's amazing, cobwebs everywhere, spider webs everywhere. Quite strong webs as well they are. Right. It's gonna bring us to a, what looks like a beautiful bridge. You can't quite make it out, you lot can't, on camera at the minute. Oh, shit, deep hole. <laughs> and there ya! That ain't bad, is it? Very old. In fact, it's got a bit of a it's got a bit of a side at it down there. If I let's get over there. Very nice. Very nice, Mr. Toad. Right. Let's have a look. Again, I mean, look at that. That's old. That is actually, I can't quite see. I'd struggle to get up there. I ain't gonna get wet. But it's actually tumbling down at the back. It's a beautiful little structure again. Wow, in fact, you're just about making out, look. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful, that. As per usual, the mind is well and truly blown. That culvert's amazing. This bridge is beautiful as well. Beautiful old bridge. And the fact we've got that as well, what a great little bonus that is. Great little Brucey bonus, that.
Right, well there you go then. What do you reckon to this then? Absolutely amazing. And it's so accessible as well. You have to watch your send when you're going in there. It's a bit slippy. But I can just picture the scene now. You know, ships anchored offshore. You know, blokes coming ashore on little rowboats. And can you imagine them? Can you imagine them with the with the crates of booze and what have you getting off here and like <laughs> and running off towards that, thinking they can get away with it? And uh, you know, maybe sometimes the authorities got wise to this culvert. I really don't know, but extraordinary piece of history, it really is. But as you've seen in the footage, the village itself is worth a visit. It's the first time I've ever been here. And just to let you know, my lovely other half, Vanessa, is actually behind the camera. And bless her, she didn't fancy going up there, up the culvert. I thought to myself when we got here, when she sees that water running out of there, she's going to think, nope. And she even brought a Wellington. She's got more brain cells than I have. Do you know what I'm saying? Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe and share it. And I'll be seeing you very soon at the next one. Take care of yourselves. Adios. Bye-bye.